Let's do a couple of other stoichiometry problems that tie in some other concepts that we've looked at. All right, for example, let's look at the reaction between magnesium and hydrochloric acid to give you magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas. Let's say you got 50 milliliters of 3 molar hydrochloric acid that you react with excess magnesium in a closed 4 liter container at 295 Kelvin. Let's see what the pressure from the hydrogen gas that's produced is going to be. So right off the bat this is a stoichiometry problem because you're given a known amount of one substance and you're trying to find some other amount of another. Right, in this case we want to know how much pressure is given off from the hydrogen gas that's produced in this reaction. Now the fact that we're dealing with pressure and we're dealing with a gas makes you think of the ideal gas law, PV equal nRT. So if you see what we're given, we're looking for the pressure, we're given a volume, the gas constant is given, temperature is given, but in order to find the pressure we need to know how many moles of hydrogen gas are produced. And that's where the stoichiometry comes in. So we're given a volume of a known molarity. So you take that 50 milliliters, convert it to liters, which would be 0.05 liters. Three molar means you got three moles of that substance per one liter. And remember to go from one substance to another, you look at the coefficients. So two moles of hydrochloric acid will produce one mole of hydrogen gas. So that produced 0 0.075 moles of H2. Now that we know how many moles of hydrogen we have, now we can finish off the problem and find our pressure. So we got that many moles. The gas constant again is 0 .02, 0 080, 0 .08206 atmosphere liters over mole Kelvin. Temperature is 295 degrees in units of Kelvin. And our volume is 4 liters. Checking the units, everybody cancels out. Except the unit we're looking for. So that's going to give us a pressure of 0.45 atmospheres. Let's look at another example using a thermochemical equation. With a reaction of iron oxygen to give you iron 3 oxide and a given enthalpy change of negative 1640 kilojoules. <clears throat> so let's see how many kilojoules of heat we can produced from 50 grams of iron according to this reaction. So we have 50 grams of iron and we'll convert that to moles using iron's atomic weight of 55.85 grams per mole. And one thing to remember about thermochemical equations is that this enthalpy change that's given, that's relative to the stoichiometry. 
of the reaction. So in other words, it's a negative, so it's exothermic. So you have four moles of iron, three moles of oxygen, produce two moles of iron three oxide, and 1,640 kilojoules of heat. So that means we got 1,640 kilojoules of heat for every four moles of iron. So again, it's stoichiometry because we're converting from one substance to another. It just turns out in this case, um, the thing we're converting to is heat instead of another chemical. But the idea is still the same. We're going to use that given chemical equation to convert between one thing to another. And to finish out the problem, that gives us negative 367 kilojoules.